Did you know that cold shock proteins can actually help you get more fit and lose weight? If that's news to you, then stick around as we dive into cold shock proteins and how they're related to a trendy practice called the cold plunge. Cold shock proteins, or CSPs, are a group of proteins produced by our body when exposed to sudden cold temperatures. They're like our body's little helpers, assisting in cellular repair and even improving our immune system. One particularly interesting CSP is the RNA binding protein, RBM3. So how do cold shock proteins affect our fitness? It turns out that RBM3 promotes muscle growth by preserving the function of neuromuscular junctions. These are the critical points where our nerves and muscles communicate. And by doing so, CSPs help in preventing muscle atrophy and improve overall muscle function. Now let's talk about weight loss. Brown adipose tissue, or BAT, is a special kind of fat that generates heat by burning calories. Cold exposure increases BAT activity, which in turn burns more calories and aids in weight loss. Enter the cold plunge. This practice involves immersing yourself in cold water, typically around 50 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 10 to 15 degrees Celsius, for short periods of time. By doing so, you activate cold shock proteins and stimulate your body's fat burning processes. Some people swear by this practice to improve their fitness and lose weight, but others enjoy the benefits such as reduced inflammation and improved mental clarity. Before you start, remember that while cold plunges can be beneficial, they may not be suitable for everyone. If you have any health concerns, consult your doctor before giving it a try. And always start with shorter durations and gradually increase your exposure to avoid potential risks. So there you have it. Cold shock proteins play a crucial role in improving fitness and weight loss, and the cold plunge is one way to harness their power. Check out the research links below.